In June 2025, a DRDO delegation inspected the Eurodrone platform at an Airbus facility near Munich as part of a program working group meeting. This followed India's formal entry as an observer in the Eurodrone program in January 2025, a move initiated through a request submitted in August 2024. Developed by Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, the Eurodrone impressed Indian officials with its 2,300 kg payload, all weather operation, and advanced intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance capabilities. India, with a tri service need for 97 mail drones, is weighing its options between foreign procurement and indigenous development. Insights from this visit are expected to aid domestic drone projects, like Tapas BH 201 and Archer NG. However, India must consider the Eurodrone's delays, rising costs, and observer related expenses before making strategic decisions. Amid escalating tensions in the Middle East and Iran's threat to block the Strait of Hormuz, India's oil minister Hardeep Singh Puri stated that the country has sufficient energy reserves and diversified supply routes. He noted that only about 2 million barrels per day of India's 5.5 million BPD oil imports transit through Hormuz, with alternative supplies coming from Russia, the US, and Latin America. Following US strikes on Iranian nuclear sites and retaliatory threats, oil prices surged over 10% reaching $77 per barrel. Despite the rise, prices remain below early 2022 levels. Puri assured that India's oil marketing companies have ample stock and continue to secure supplies. He credited earlier diversification efforts under Prime Minister Modi for reducing India's dependency on the Hormuz route, reinforcing the country's energy stability during ongoing geopolitical volatility. In a dramatic turn of events, Pakistan condemned U.S. airstrikes on Iran's nuclear facilities, labeling them a breach of international law and warning of potential regional escalation. The strikes, which targeted Fordo, Isfahan, and Natan sites early Sunday, were aimed at dismantling Iran's nuclear program. This condemnation came just a day after Pakistan surprisingly endorsed U.S. President Donald Trump for the 2026 Nobel Peace Prize, crediting his diplomatic role in easing a recent India-Pakistan standoff. Pakistan's foreign office expressed deep concern over the rising violence, citing the risk of destabilization following both U.S. and Israeli military actions against Iran. The Indian Navy is set to commission its Russian-built guided missile frigate, INS Tamal, on July 1 in Kaliningrad. Tamal, the second ship of the upgraded Tushal class, features 26% indigenous components, including the BrahMos missile system. It marks the eighth and final Krivat class frigate from Russia, signaling India's shift toward domestic warship production. The warship, constructed at Yentar shipyard, has undergone extensive trials and crew training in harsh Russian winters. Upgraded with vertical launch missiles, anti-submarine weapons, and advanced radar systems, Tamal offers significant combat capability. Vice Admiral Sanjay J. Singh, will lead the commissioning ceremony, attended by Indian and Russian officials. Two more frigates of similar design are also under construction in Goa with Russian assistance, reflecting growing naval collaboration and self-reliance. The ship's name and mascot draw from Indo-Russian mythological symbolism. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL announced at the 2025 Paris Air Show that it is self-funding early development work on the Indian multirole helicopter, IMRH, and its naval variant the deck-based multirole helicopter, DBMRH, ahead of formal government approval. Aimed at replacing the aging Mi-17, Sea King and Kama fleets, the IMRH and DBMRH are central to India's defense modernization and self-reliance goals. HAL has initiated long-lead activities to accelerate the project targeting a prototype flight by 2028 and production in the early 2030s. Designed for high-altitude and maritime operations, both variants will feature advanced avionics and twin Aravali engines, co-developed with France's Safran under a joint venture. With a projected demand exceeding 550 units, the helicopters are expected to enhance India's strategic mobility, naval capabilities, and indigenous defense manufacturing strength.
a joint venture between Reliance Infrastructure and France's Dassault Aviation, has proposed the Falcon 2000 MRA aircraft for the Indian Navy, aiming to support maritime surveillance and reconnaissance needs, to be assembled at Drowes Nagpur facility. The first Falcon jet line outside France, the aircraft aligns with India's Make in India and Atmanurbar Bharat initiatives. Also known as the Albatros, the Falcon 2000 MRA is equipped with advanced radar, optronic systems, SAR kits, and communication suites. It is designed for anti-surface warfare, intelligence gathering, and easy surveillance, as well as humanitarian roles like search and rescue. If inducted, it would complement existing P-8I and Dornier 228 fleets, enhancing agility and reach in the Indian Ocean region. The project is expected to generate skilled jobs, enable technology transfer, and bolster India's defense manufacturing capabilities. The Indian Army has signed a deal with Solar Defense and Aerospace Limited to procure around 450 units of the Nag Astra 1 or loitering munition system, following earlier emergency procurement of 480 units in mid 2024. The Nag Astra 1 R, noted for its cost effectiveness and reusability, features a 360 degree gimbal camera with optional thermal imaging for night operations, secure encrypted communications and a high-precision targeting system with a 2-meter circular error probable. Over 80% of its components are indigenous. The system has successfully undergone field trials in challenging terrains such as Ladakh and Babina. The earlier batch, delivered by Solar Industries subsidiary Economic Explosives Limited, included 120 units that passed pre-delivery inspections at an Army ammunition depot, reinforcing the Army's focus on integrating advanced, domestically developed loitering munitions into its arsenal for modern warfare. The Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, has announced that trials for India's long-range anti-ship missile, LRASHM, a hypersonic glide vehicle, are expected to conclude within the next three years. This milestone, revealed by DRDO Chairman Dr. Samir V. Comet, marks a significant enhancement in India's strategic defense, particularly in countering maritime threats in the Indian Ocean region. The missile demonstrated its capabilities during a successful test in November 2024 from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island, achieving speeds up to Mach 10. Developed by DRDO's missile complex in Hyderabad with industry partners, the LRASHM, combines ballistic missile velocity with the unpredictable flight path of a cruise missile, making it highly difficult to intercept. Building on the 2020 hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, HSTDV success, and aided by advanced wind tunnel testing, the missile boasts a range exceeding 1,500 kilometers and is designed primarily to neutralize hostile aircraft carriers. Equipped with a sophisticated RF seeker, it complements India's existing missile arsenal. Planned as a multi-service weapon, variants will serve the Army and Air Force within the proposed Integrated Rocket Force. The program aims to match and counter regional hypersonic threats like China's DF-17 missile, underscoring India's advancing defense technology readiness. In a major boost to India's radar technology, DRDO's LRD, in partnership with Bengaluru-based Aiden Technologies, has developed a state-of-the-art 6kW solid-state power amplifier, SSBA, for radar systems. Built using high-performance gallium nitride on silicon carbide technology, the system offers superior power efficiency, reliability, and scalability compared to traditional tube-based transmitters. Designed for S-band radar applications like the Indian Navy's Air and Missile Defense Radar, EMDR, the amplifier spans a 2.9 to 3.3 GHz frequency range. Its modular, multi-drawer architecture integrates eight 1.5 kW modules in a compact 19-inch rack, enabling high peak power output, redundancy, and graceful degradation. The system features advanced cooling, real-time fault monitoring, and remote management via Ethernet and RS-422. Gallium nitride on silicon carbide technology ensures excellent thermal performance, broad bandwidth, and compact design, 
ideal for long-range detection, surveillance, and fire control radars. Compared to legacy systems like magnetrons and traveling wave tubesks, the SSBA delivers longer operational life, faster startup, lower voltage operation, and improved safety. Its successful development reinforces India's self-reliance in defense and lays the groundwork for future radar advancements across military applications, positioning India among global leaders in solid-state radar technology. In a major step for India's fifth-generation fighter program, the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, has issued a tender to build highly detailed scale models of the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, for extensive wind tunnel testing. This phase aligns with the aircraft's ongoing critical design review and prototype development, marking a crucial milestone toward the targeted first flight in 2029. The AMCA models will undergo rigorous subsonic to supersonic wind tunnel tests to assess aerodynamic behavior, flight control effectiveness, and stealth performance, particularly radar cross-section characteristics. These tests aim to ensure low observability and optimal performance under varied flight conditions without delaying the project timeline. Officials clarified that these precision-built models, equipped with pressure sensors and force balances, will help validate airframe performance and structural integrity under operational loads. Additionally, test boxes will simulate weapon loadouts and maneuver stresses. The project, led by ADA under DRDO, is supported by a rupees 15,000 crore allocation to develop five prototypes. HAL, along with private industry partners, will manage series production post-validation. With advanced features like internal weapons bays, radar absorbent materials, and DSI intakes, the AMCA is poised to be a transformative asset for the Indian Air Force by the end of this decade. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.